啦啦。Working hard, I see. Oh, Landolphus. Hey. But, oh wow! Look at all this fish already, and they've got nowhere to take it. Um, so much being built all the time in this place. What have we, so two stone houses, three stone houses, fishing dock, storage barn. It's all going up. We're doing it. Two, two. I cannot remember. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I think I have already got. The fisherman, haven't I? For have I? Because I only have one other fishing dock, don't I? Oh, but that's got four on it. Right, so we would need some more um, for this. That's fine. Um, the builders are quite high at the moment, so I think we probably could afford to put. Um, two. On there. There you go. So they've all got two, and this has its four. Good. Okay, that's fine. Um, maybe just reduce the workers down by a couple. What's this saying? 114 locations, 10 jobs. Okay. <laughs> this sounds like a lot of work, doesn't it? This well's gone up. Lovely jobs, lovely jobs. A merchant has arrived. Mm, we do like a merchant. Um, oh my God, have you never been here either? We're getting a lot of those at the moment, aren't we? We did build a lot of docks very quickly. Um, and we are very much aware, aren't we, that we're getting lots of new Merchants arriving. So we want all of these things. Lovely. Thank you. So what do you have today then? Um, just food really for us, I think. So here, take all this venison. Um, do you have any grain? You don't have any grain. Okay. Fine. Um, do you have any fruit? Is it just vegetables? It is mainly just vegetables they have, isn't it? So, look, we'll take some potatoes. They do have nuts, but I won't... I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will take a thousand chestnuts. Um, and I think we might take a bunch of pumpkins. Not sure the last time we bought pumpkins. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. And I've got another one here. Um, let's see. Oh, hold on. Oh, I have put four. No, we need to sort out. They've all got the wrong numbers of uh, people on them. Oh, look, 200 stones. So, yes, we know this. Kelville. Ah, well, we know you. Well, we want the 200 stone. I think we'll also take the 200 iron as well. And the 200 stone, do I want the iron? I definitely want the stone. What would the stone be? Like 400? Mm. Let's see. Uh, oh. Four, um, seven. Oh yeah. Look, we don't have a full supply of venison here, so I don't think we'll be buying any of the food. I kind of, I, I would want that to be a thousand before we messed with it. So I think we'll just uh, leave it like that. Wow, trade's coming in. Wow, and we don't have the firewood. We're caning this firewood. <laughs> I really would like that. Do I want to get rid of the leather? I don't know. This is very difficult. Um, this is very difficult. We've got a lot going on here. A lot of things are short on supplies. What we need to do is get, these all should have three on each um, and they don't. They're all mixed up. 
And they're not. I've got to sort the staffing out because it's affecting getting stuff into. Look, they got five. It's just so unnecessary. Look, six. So unnecessary. We need to move the staffing about. So it looks like we've got a lot of stone and coal and stuff kicking around here. We've got a thousand stone here. Um, oh, are you a food? Are you a foodie? You're a foodie, but we don't have enough chicken. I think what we'll do is... Oh, look, we've never seen them before. Mm. Okay, so apples, chestnuts, cherries, cabbage, corn, pears, peach, pecans, peppers, plums, potatoes, pumpkins, squash, and walnut. Excellent. Um, but for now... You can go, Lolly. Um, what do you have? So you do have, look, all this going on. So we could take five, do, hang on, how much coal have we got? We could really do with getting some coal in, couldn't we? Um, probably should get some coal in. And I have just bought 200 stone um, as well, right? So this is going to be, what? what is this? No, four. Uh, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, seven. Excellent. Right. So I think we'll trade that. Um, lovely. But what's going on here? We don't really have the firewood for it. We really are smashing out the firewood at the moment. Uh, so we could buy 300 stone, couldn't we? I think we'll do it. Wow. Wow. Ooh, we're really messing with it but that was some amazing resources right there so we can now see look all of the iron and stone coming in and we should see a bunch of coal um, start coming out but it's important we need all this stuff we need all this stuff we do um, where's this oh look a fishing hut place went up we do have a fisher there and a builder given that they're developing the year at the moment that kind of makes sense right that kind of makes sense um, excellent so, oh, and this barn, finally, this barn, because we need this for fish so badly, don't we? Well, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. So we've gone for a house um, each, because we've got two fishermen on each dock. So it's a house for each of them, um, which is fantastic. Um, and we do have the need for houses, so this works out quite well. What's that? The Forester's Lodge. Um, no, no, we don't We don't really need that at the moment. That's fine. Um, oh, look. Yolana. Yolana has moved here. Isn't that amazing? Um, what should we call this? This little peninsula that we have here, I might actually just call this... Um, what should we call it? Hurley Isle? Hurley... <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure. But Yolana lives here. Um, which is wonderful. So we... Rollington here and Lynn, their eldest, has now moved out. In with... And uh, we can just... Keep an eye on them now. See if they have any babbies. Well, they will. They will have babbies. We know this, don't we? We know this. This is going quite nicely. I like this here. Even though we haven't quite got a name for it. I'm not sure whether it's called sort of Hurley Isle or Hurley Peninsula or Hurley Fishing. I don't know. <laughs> 
Let me know in the comments below. Maybe uh, you can help me name this because I'm clearly struggling. Uh, so you can see here that we are now upping the production of wheat because look, we have 11,000 beans but 4,000 wheat. And of course, we want to deep store these two products, which means we need a lot of them. Um, so we're up to 190 citizens. We could do with getting a few more houses up, to be honest. Um, what else do we need here? We could do with opening a hospital and a herbalist over here. So that'd be two jobs, wouldn't it? That would be two jobs. So, um, let's see. Let's open up the hospital. We will do the cemetery as well, actually. But it doesn't take any jobs though, right? Mm -hmm. And that would be another house, a house worth of stuff here. Should we open up this house? Like that. That might be nice. Um, and so that we can get perhaps better pe better um, timing to these fields. We might unlock this house as well. Um, let's actually put... I'm interested, I think, in building about three houses. Lovely, lovely. I think I am. About three houses, uh, because we have the demand for housing, again. We have the demand. Um, should we do this one? Just because it might look a little bit, I don't know. I just want it. <laughs> I just want it. So we're building up these areas finally, which is really, really wonderful. And uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking and um, it's probably going to be um, that I will build down here next and get our brewery going, stuff like that. I think that's what we might do. Uh, we need to keep an eye on all of this, of course. Um, why is it that without this one woodcutter that we really struggle <laughs> with our firewood? But we do. It's a thing. Um, so, actually, how is the venison? The venison's quite low. I'm wondering, should we? Should we consider building this up? I don't know. I'm considering it. I am considering it. <laughs> Whether we will or not is, is something different. It is something different. Um... Look at all this stone. Whoa. It's amazing. <laughs> stone and iron. Look, we've got over a thousand stone, 600 iron, almost uh, three and a half in um, coal. It's fantastic. Oh, look. Um, it's tempting because I want the animals, but at the same time, I think think I don't want to spend the firewood at the moment so I think we'll let that one pass us by oh look another seed merchant um, they can go as well save that firewood yeah, save that firewood, firewood. Um, because we did build didn't we quite suddenly an awful lot of this lot of this. Another. Hello. Hello. Which dock are you going to? It can be <laughs> can be hard to know. There's a lot of docks here. It's it very narrow there, doesn't it? <laughs> very narrow. You're coming right to the end? Excellent. What you got? Do we know? Do we know you? Do we know you? Yes, chickens again. I'm not up at the moment um, for spending any firewood no no it is not a thing at the moment um, uh, why has all this appeared in here I'm not sure I understand why that's happening um, are you producing 
I'm not producing the best amount, are you? Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, oh, oh, hello! A new herbalist. How are the herbs going? So we have broken the thousand mark, but um, you know we definitely because this one's not going to collect much. Let's be honest; they're not going to collect many herbs at all. Um, I would say they are more of a just a, a supply thing rather than a a gathering. Just a local herb. Is somebody going to take this job? I put an extra one on. <laughs> Have they joined another one? This may be something that I'll need to start doing. Uh, so, because we have a herb list here, let's knock that down to one. And we have this herb list here. Let's see, there's two working there. There it was. Um, let's just get them all knocked. Oops. Knocked down to one. Um, did they Did they just have a baby? I think they did. Excellent. We have a new member in our family tree. There we go. So this is now operating. We have the well, which is good. So we can keep all the fish protected here. It's very important. Very, very important. Let's go up to five builders. So, let's Steve, let's, uh, <laughs> okay, um, this boy is in the tunnel, where is he, there he is, there he is, what's the speed on, two, excellent, hello, you're very happy and healthy, clothes are ragged, he's just swapped out his clothes, beautiful, beautiful, okay, so, as we've got a new family member, should we have a, a catch up? Uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel is attending. He's a herdsman. Look, attending to the chickens in Drew. Excellent. Is this where, where do you live? Technically in Chime. That's fine though. I like that. I like that. Excellent. Then his daughter, Lynn, who's a hunter. Oh, a sheed. She's in a sheed. Um, they've still got a lot of kids living at home. But Yolana has moved out. She lives in the fishing dock area that we've not named yet. But look, there we go. In fact, shall we keep... Shall we just continue to see some details about Yolana? what's going on here um this is very empty these trees are not looking particularly wonderful are they they're not getting a lot out of here they're doing the best they can given their situation <laughs> doing the best they can Ooh, things and stuff is happening here in uh salia village yeah i uh, ha added the tavern between episodes um, so we are just again something just starting to encroach more stuff to upset this hub <laughs> it's just the way that it has to be um, we're not getting these crops in massively fast are we they're dying off um, it could be argued that we could put more on these fields to to get everything in I guess could be argued couldn't it that it might be worth doing but the wheat has taken a good jump this year brilliant brilliant hello chickens you say um no we're we're building up stocks we we, we spent a lot let's be honest didn't we we did spend a lot um so letting them build up Oh my god, even though I want all these things. Um, I want all these things. But uh, we have caned our resources. We have 
decayed our resources and look, our food is plummeting. Um, so it might be that we start considering um, new hubs. So if we do um, hang on, how many? We've got four of these, don't we? So we might start sticking two on these again, because look at this. We seem to be sorting this problem out. So I think, yeah, we'll up our gatherers by double across the board. Um, I think that might be good. So we've got a little cemetery here in the graveyard. That'll be good. That'll be good. Um, three houses going up. Wait, 73, no, 63 homes, 79 families. Yeah. We definitely, uh, definitely need these houses and then some, I would say. Um, and I am wondering as well if it is worth trying to get as many people into these fishing docks as quick as possible as we build up the laborers shall i pump them into here i might do and then i think i will before i start moving on to the brewery area i think we will look at getting these two hubs up and running um, to try and cope with the demand that i'm putting on on the supplies for here um, I think that's something we'll be dealing with. Um, but yeah, I think for a little bit we're going to concentrate on building up numbers and, and just filling in gaps of what we have just a little bit, you know. Sometimes it's good to build up numbers before you start expanding. We don't want to spread people too thin, right? We don't, we don't want to do that. Um, this is a good couple. This is a good couple, good ages. Neither of them students, which is always nice as well. I mean, it's not not a problem. One being a student, but um, this is if they're both working, it means they're going to have babies. They're going to have babies because students won't have babies. Here's another house. Excellent. Oh, it's happening. Getting a bunch of houses up. So, because I'm thinking in Drew here about getting some of these houses up, shall we? Shall we do all four of these? Shall we do all four of these? I think we might. Another house. Yay! So we've got a student there. It's okay. I'm okay with that. Hospitals going up. Lovely. Um, this field would probably pull more off if we had a barn right here. Um, so they don't have to walk all the way across. Probably a similar deal with this field. These are probably going to produce less than, say, this one. This one's a bit of a funny one. No, see, that does quite well because the barns are close. So, yeah. I'm thinking maybe a barn on this side would just help these fields be a little more productive. Excellent. Here comes the hospital. Um, stick a doctor in there. A physician. Lovely. Another, another merchant, eh? Another merchant. It's been a calm year. It has been a calm year. I think for now we're going to have to say, what is the food like? The food is falling. The food is falling. No, no, I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit longer. <laughs> it's getting dodgy. <laughs> it's getting dodgy. I'm spreading things too thin here. It's not good. So definitely more forestry hubs. Um, will be in order. Um, definitely. I think we will be doing that. Just to help with this, which will in turn help with this. Which means we can't rest on our laurels too long. So I know I said, well I'm not going to expand too quickly, but 
I'm mindful of this and um, and all the rest of it. You know, I am. Just look at that firewood. They're all trying to fill up these, so that they, their, their orders, that are almost are almost done. What's the leather like? this one um, and then here this was all firewood here so we do have some venison do you know what I think we will remove the venison from here because these ones can focus on things like chicken meat mutton and beef when we get them so we've got mutton in there chicken in here but I don't think I've had alone we've got some tools although they won't come up too often um, but I don't think we have um, any beef just yet to stick in a barn because of course you have to fill the fields before they start slaughtering them but we're breeding and we're just going to keep breeding and splitting uh, for a while saying that I'm not ready to start building houses over here so it could be that we are going to start producing more of this um, because you know the numbers are building on the cattle this has a long way to go though <laughs> that has a long way to go um, before they start producing anything and it'll help subsidize once once we've got all those fields full it will help subsidize the um the venison yeah thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button as long as you are here why not check out one of my delectable videos available feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my chiswa see you next time peeps